What up dudes, how's it going? I am back with another video. This game is called Majora's Mask and I'm gonna play a little bit of it. Uh, I want to do a full on let's play, but I'm not sure if you guys are totally into that idea. If you are, make sure you leave a like. That definitely tells me that uh, you want to see more. And I'll keep making more of these. Um, I'm planning on doing let's, a let's play, but uh, you know, if I don't get too much of a good response, if you guys aren't really into it, I won't really do it, but I just feel like playing at the moment. So I'm just gonna hop in. Play a little bit and call it good. All right, we are ready. We got our profile, which is pink, because this is pretty much like a sequel to Ocarina of Time, uh, at least Ocarina of Time Chaos Edition, so it's just gonna be a direct sequel to that. And it's kind of funny because Majora's Mask is in itself batshit crazy. If they ever made a Chaos Edition game of this, I would just cry. I would seriously cry. It would suck. Just imagine being like in a dungeon, in the middle of a dungeon, and it just goes straight to the end of day three and kills everyone. That would suck. Please, no one make a Chaos Edition of this game. Please, no. Alright, here we go. In the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend, a legend held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Done with the battles he once waged across time, he embarked on a journey, a secret and personal journey. A journey in search of a beloved and invaluable friend. Wait, what is this intro about? A friend with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Is this talking about Navi? I actually don't know what... Why he started this journey in the first place? I actually don't know. If anyone knows in the comments, definitely, uh, definitely tell me, because I have no clue why he's starting the journey in the first place. Well, this is a, this is a great game. I, I've never actually beaten this game, which is kind of funny. I've gotten really close, though. I, and I pretty much know the ending, which kind of sucks, because I've, I've seen, like, a couple videos about it, but, um... I've always wanted to beat this game. It's like one of those games that I've never beaten, and because of that, it's just kind of like, why haven't I beaten this game? Because I like this more than Ocarina of Time, but I've beaten Ocarina of Time like, I don't know, like 10 times? Oh god. It's such a- this is such a weird game. It's such a really cool, but weird game. Like, I, I can't believe that they went through with this game, actually. It's, it's, it's pretty strange that they ever did, because this is, like, a type of game that, like, wouldn't be made, but it was made. Kind of cool. Hee <laughs> hee, the two fairies did great. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh, this guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. Also, he never actually gets a Pona when he's young, right? Huh. Not sure if that's a thing. Ooh, ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. Damn. No way, you can't touch it. Ah, uh, but sis, why, why can't I try it out, too? I love this face that he makes right here. This is, <laughs> this is great. <laughs> just like <laughs> it's like the greatest face. <laughs> also, by the way, this uh I didn't know you could do this, but this is actually 16 by 9 aspect ratio and it's not stretched, it's actually like widescreen. I didn't know you could do this on emulators, but apparently you can. I figured it out and got it working. So throughout the game, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be stretched, so there's not gonna be like the little letterbox things on the side, which is pretty cool. I actually hopped in here and played it a little bit, and it's it's pretty fun. It's actually uh, it's it's it makes it way better. <laughs> like look at this, like it's. It's weird how it makes it kind of fun, and you'll see, like, on the left, the grass kind of disappears, but that's fine. But it's like, it just makes it wider, and I don't know. 
I just like it. Makes it a little bit more uh, enjoyable to play and look at, really. So, I don't know. Not sure why I'm just getting rupees. Like, what the hell am I doing? Alright, so we started with the Kokiri Sword and Hero Shield. That's kind of cool. Like, you would kind of think that you would, uh, you know, start off with, like, the Deku Shield or whatever it is, but, uh, yeah, not in this game. You're a badass. I love how, like, you're even more badass in this game. Because, uh, I remember, like, I started this game out and, like, especially on this part, like, I was like, oh man, this is kind of cool. And then, like, you do this, and you do the jumps, and you do, like, the side flips and front flips and shit. Like, that's awesome. That's some fucking awesome shit. Like, that's... I don't know, like, I remember seeing that and thinking, oh my god, that's awesome. That's some cool shit. And also, of course, the, uh, whole idea that he falls here and then dies. Apparently that's a, uh, popular theory about this game, is he falls and dies here. And the whole game is basically just, like, his death dream or something like that. I mean, it is pretty, it is pretty weird. Man, this is a fucking weird game. I love this game. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee hee. Ah, boohoo. Why the sad face? I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come now. Do you really think you can beat me? Uh-oh. Fucking scrubs. I don't want no scrub. Like what in the shit? <laughs> this, is, this is a great game. <laughs> okay, so I really like this game, but I absolutely hate playing as the scrub. I hate it. You'll stay here looking that way forever. Like, I just really don't like it. Just the fact that he can't, like, you know, swim... ...makes me angry. Alright. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me, I'm still here, Tail. Can't leave without me. You! If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. You blame it on me, yeah. Blame it on the scrub that can't do anything. Deku boy! <laughs> Alright. Okay. I need to change my controls later, but not right now. I can probably do it some other time. Um, let's see, what can we do here? Alright. Let's do this. Hey, wait for me. Don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there, I uh, apologize. So, take me with you. You want to know about that Skull Kid that, who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal, please? Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner, or at least until we catch that Skull Kid. Stop messing around and get moving. If I figure something out, press that. Yeah. That's why I need to change my uh, my controls. <laughs> I, love, I love the fact that he like looks at the camera and then does that. Um, is there anything like down here that I can possibly get? I'm gonna drop down. 
This game really does have some good controls though, for like a Nintendo 64 game, like, seriously. So like, they, they made two Zelda games, and only one Mario 64 game. And I've always wondered why they did that, because, like, Mario 64 was, like, huge. Like, wasn't that, like, a top seller? Like, that was a, that was a really, really good game, and they never made another one for Nintendo 64? I wonder how long this cycle was for that console. Maybe it wasn't that long. Oh god, this might be bad. Okay, it's fine. Hey you, come on, press Z and talk to me. There you go, see, you can do it. You can try when I fly over to people, and talk to them. Okay, I got this, I, I played before. Come on, man. Come on, tree. All right. Weird. All gloomy and sad. See, this this game is just just a trip. Trippy ass game. What's with the textures here? <laughs> Uh, this doesn't look very good. I might have to like try some things to make this look a little bit better. Maybe in the next couple videos I'll do that. But for now we're gonna we're gonna roll with it. Is there supposed to be a guy here? Yeah, where's the mask guy? You've met with a terrible fate, haven't you? Oh man, all the creepy pastas of of this goddamn game. I own the Happy Mask Shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods, so here I am at a loss, and now I've found you. Now, don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For I know of a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all I ask is that you also get back my precious mask that the imp stole from me. What, it's not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should by no means be a difficult task. How do you know? I'm a little kid. The one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. But yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I'm counting on you. Also, he actually has like a, a mask of Mario on his back, which is kind of creepy. I'm not sure what these other masks are. Weird. That's a creepy one right there. What the hell? He's a creepy guy. Dawn of the first day. Oh god. He gives me the creeps, that mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking out loud. But three days, even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Well, don't just stand there, we're going to see the Great Fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? The Great Fairy will know what he's up to, she watches over everything. And just between you and me, the Skull Kid is no match for the Great Fairy. Go to the shrine near the North Gate, and you'll find the Great Fairy in there. Alright, North Gate. Damn it, I don't remember anything. Get out of my face. 
I really like the aspect ratio though. That makes this like way worth playing again. I don't know why. It's <laughs> it's not really that much, you know, but <laughs> it's pretty great. I never actually uh, played the 3DS version. Isn't there like a 3DS Majora's Mask version? Um, haven't really played that before because I don't have a 3DS. Is this north? There we go. Oh my god. My homie. What's this green clothes white fairy, sir? Could you, by chance, be a forest fairy? Oh my. My name is Tingle. Oh, Tingle's the best. Dude, Tingle is... Tingle's the fucking best. Look at that. Look at that beast. Alas, though, I am already age 35. No fairy has come to me yet. <laughs> my father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. Lucky, lucky, you're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know, we should be friends. Yes, yes, in exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Um, damn it. I'll buy this one. Nice. Thanks, Tingle. We'll call again. <laughs> oh god, don't steal him. These words that he created, don't you ever, don't ever fucking steal him. Tingle, I love you. I love you so much. You're the best. Alright, let's, uh, let's go talk to the fairy. The fairy's over here, right? I love how it's just like a massive cave that leads into like a fairy fountain. Oh no, the great fairy! Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked skull kid. Please find the one street fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. Um, I think, I think I know where that fairy is. I also need to change my Z to the left button because like I'm so used to like having it as a left trigger. Um, how do I get this? I actually don't think I can right now. Yeah, I need to be able to, like, jump. Okay, um, so I have to find the fairy. And it's, like, located... It's located in, like, different places, I think. During the day, it's located over here. Oh, look at this asshole. Alright. Oh, I found... I'm the fairy, okay. Um how do I get it? I think I just go for it. Alright. Poifect. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. No! <laughs> no! Oh god. That didn't work out. Alright. Now, I don't remember anything about any of the masks that you're supposed to get. Like, I know there's like a mask for that guy or something. Oh man, there's so many masks in this game. I remember I figured out a lot of them as a kid, which is pretty impressive because I don't think I could figure them out now. I think as I get older, my brain just gets dumber. I do like twirling around with this character though. I don't know why, I just spam that shit. It's great. Love it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Telling you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that mass child was helping me and I grew careless. All I can offer you now is this. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, lady.
Okay. Bubble Blast. I'm a Pokemon now. The man who lives in the observatory outside of town may know of the school kids' whereabouts. Okay, I, I remember what to do now. Okay. So now I have to do... I have to find all the kids, which is gonna be... This is gonna suck. I'm gonna save this for the next video, actually. Because I don't wanna... I don't wanna spend all this time doing that and having a big-ass video that's really stupid because... It's gonna be stupid because of stupid kids! Goddamn kids! Son of a bitch. I'm gonna hurt you. But, uh, anyways, um, that's about it for now. If you guys wanna see more of this, make sure you leave a like. Because, uh, that's pretty much the only reason why I would want to do this is to, uh, make sure that you guys wanna watch it. If not, I'll just play by myself. I'll just play by my goddamn self and not do videos because... I don't know, I just really feel like playing this game. It's... It's really fun. It's like, uh, so much nostalgia and I have like so many stories of like different things that I've done and like, you know, back when I used to play that I could tell. So, you know, this could be a pretty fun let's play and playthrough to do. So, but anyways, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.